Thunderpole T800 on air test on the car antenna at Downhome Viewpoint by Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. And I've got the Thunderpole T800 out with me. It's on the car's antenna at the moment. And I know it's receiving because I've been able to receive perfectly fine, obviously, for obvious reasons, the, um, uh, what I refer to as the Cleveland Burner Brigade, which turns out to extend up to Middlesbrough. The strongest station I always hear is a chap named Mark, uh, and he's in the Middlesbrough area. That's always the strongest one I can hear. Uh, and he has openly admitted to using a CRT SS9900, which is actually very illegal on, ele on, on CB 11 metres unless you really want to be a pirate and that's your call so we've got it up out here my one nine for rig check has been completely ignored and the strongest station I was getting was Mark and Millsborough so I'll take the auto splash out there is something there but a bit not really discernible let's see if I get anything back one nine for a copy anyone out there Yeah, one nine for a copy. Anyone out there? And again, just one, one more for look. One nine for a copy. Anyone out there? And the answer to that would be. And that's just a quick demonstration of the RF gain. So it's on the aerial for the car. It's probably on the SWR meter, but... Something there, but I'm not sure what that is. So... Ooh, that might be good. Yeah, station asking for a rig check. You're getting out loud and clear. response to that. So, let's have a flip around the channels. It's a bit difficult because I've got the thing propped on the SWR meter and I've got a lot of rubbish on the um, uh, seat. Okay, not sure what that is. No idea what that is. They seem to be pulling their signals in well. If there's anything out there today. Mostly noise by the looks of it. NSSB. Definitely SSB. That's quite strong. Okay, 
I'm going to sort on that. Yeah, if there's someone on the one nine, yeah, go ahead. Uh, nothing heard my end, uh, I'll be curious why to, to channel 20. Okay, I'm just going to turn that off a minute. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've not managed to get a, a QSO, which is not really ideal, but I'm not doing um, uh, the where I would normally put out the big antenna because it's too much of a chew on. So, what I'm going to do I'm going to do a little audio comparison between this radio and two other radios. So this radio, which is the Thunderpole T800, which is the subject radio, the T3000, which uses the exact same microphone, and the PNI Escorts HP7120, as they're all from the same stable, basically. So I'm just going to um, uh, just check there's no one there. No, let's see. I've got my Grant 2 recording, so this might make it back, it might not, but we shall see. Let's give it a go. Okay, this is an audio check back to Patrick Garrison, home QTH, received by the Pre President Grant 2, of the audio from the Thunderpole T800, 12345-54321. Okay, I'll do another one, just in case. Another audio check, another audio test of the Thunderpole T800, back to the President Grant 2, at the home QTH in Catrick Garrison, 12345-54321. Okay, so I'm going to swap the radio now, and I'll go off camera to do that, and we'll swap it for the Thunderpole T3000. Okay, this is an audio check back to Patrick Garrison, from QTH, received by the President Grant 2, audio from the Thunderpole T800, 2, uh, the Home Garrison, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now on the Thunderpole T3000, same microphone that the T800 has. So let's see if the audio is different or the same or what? what is it? So let's see. This is audio test, uh, audio test of the Thunderpole T3000 against the Thunderpole T800 into my President Grant 2 at the home QTH. 12345-54321. And I'll do it again. This is an audio test, an audio test of the Thunderpole T3000 versus the Thunderpole T800 into my President Grant 2 at the home QTH. 12345-54321. Okay. So now I've done that, there's one more radio I want to compare it against, and that radio is the tiny, tiny little BNI Escort HP7120. So I'll swap, I'll swap it back over again for that radio. I'll do that off camera. Okay, and the final audio comparison is with the PNI Escort HP7120. Has a different microphone, has the smaller, lighter microphone compared to the, the one supplied with the Thunderpole radios. So, I don't think there's a PNI radio that comes with those type of microphones, except the car stereo hybrid one, which they say they do, but they don't do by the looks of it, which is a bit of a shame, because that's, that one looks actually as though it would be an ideal alternative to to having a car stereo but I'm not sure if it'll do the UK frequencies either so let's see what the, the audio against the there's a bit of crackling going on now I think I'm getting a bit of interference from something up here but that's okay 
but let's see how the audio with th this sounds versus the other two. This is an audio test. This is an audio test. This is the PNI Escort HP7120. An audio test versus the Thunderpole T800 back into my President Grant 2 at the home QTH. 12345 Okay, I'll do another one. This is an audio test. This is an audio test of the PNI Escort HP7120 into my President Grant 2 at the home QTH. This test is versus the Thunderpole T800. 12345 and I'd say that's good. So I'll turn that radio off and then I'll draw some conclusions from that when I get home. This is an audio test. This is an audio test. This is the PNIS.HP7120. An audio test versus the Thunderbolt T800 back into my President Draft 2 at the home QTH. 12345 Okay, I've just got out of the car. I want to show you whereabouts I am today. It's a different place than normal. It's not far from home. Some uh, viewing point for the village of Downholm. It's between the village of Downholm and Hudswell. I'll show you on the map. And um, uh, got a little thing about about the um, uh, the area put up by by the army and defence estates as there's some firing ranges just not a million miles away from here so let's try not to point that too close to my car there's a lot of free roaming sheep around here just like there was at Tan Hill but <laughs> uh, there's not as many of them so this is where I am today a bit of high ground just Ham's come up here as well, so the grass looks a bit bogged down, so we've had a bit of rain, but I think I'll be able to get out of that. So, I'll catch you back at the home QTH when I'll finish the video off for you. Okay guys, I've reviewed the um, uh, footage I got from the President Grant 2, which I recorded on this camera in front of me. Um, the camera was on a different tripod at the time, so you could see the, the Grant 2 clearly. Um, I didn't have the volume turned up too high because I had to leave the squelch like all the way down, obviously not in the auto squelch position because I wasn't sure whether the signal would get in or not or whether it would just get squelched out by the auto squelch because they seem to be squelching out quite a lot lately that it shouldn't be so I'm not sure whether that needs some, uh, some attention or not in the future so so that's probably why the volume isn't as loud as it could be but from what I could gather, because I actually used a pair of headphones to listen to it through my um, uh, mixing desk, which is connected to the video editor, which you can probably hear humming away in the background. Um, it's The piano, I, I think, was a little quiet, but the two Thunderpole ones sounded e equal, because they both use the exact same microphone. The, the microphone on the Thunderpoles is a much more durable microphone as well. The one on the PNI is quite light and... I'm not a big fan of it, so you've seen all the microphones for all three radios involved. So, I did another little test as well, which I'm going to put into a, another video. I, when I set off, I am uh, tested back to base using the Thunderpole T3000 into the High Power 4000 antenna on the roof of my car. Um, and uh, obviously back to the base, which is the boomerang antenna. Um, it's not doing too bad actually from up, up in Hudswell. It's about an S9 up, up there I was getting back, which is actually pretty good going on the on the Grant too. There is a bit of a lift on as well, so I did hear a, a station from Germany call on the 19 earlier, but I did have to tell them that, yeah, yes, I could hear them, but I couldn't actually um, uh, speak to them because I was... Um, uh, otherwise busy so they didn't think they didn't know whether I was actually talking to them or not but that should hopefully clarify it if they actually do visit this channel. So the only thing left for me to do really with regards to the Thunderpole T eight hundred is try and get a car to car test 
arranged. Now that's going to be a little harder than than, in, than initially planned now because um, in the intervening period between me publishing the last video on the Thunderbolt T800 and this one, I took employment at um, a, a well-known online retailer, we shall say. You, you've all probably ordered things from them, including Radio Gear. It's not the auction one, it's the other one. That's all I'm going to say on that one. So, you've probably ordered them... Uh, Radio radio gear from them, and you know, yeah, so they've opened a new warehouse locally, and uh, they're looking for people to work there. And I'll be there for about six months. So, getting the car car test for the T800 might prove difficult. I'm still going to do the pizza deliveries, except I can only do that two days a week now. So that will should hopefully get me some more money to put into this channel. Maybe get some even better radio gear, and maybe some ham stuff as well. There. We wanted to get, I've kind of got my eye on the Yaesu FT991A, so hopefully I might get enough money to do that. And of course, I'd like to um, uh, try and get enough money together to start building the, the the ham radio camper van that I'd like to build. So, there's that's another project as well. So, so those are all things that might happen in the future, depends on how this, this job at this company, that that I've uh, vaguely referenced goes and yeah it did involve me having a, a criminal record check and that's come back completely clean and I'm pleased about that so so yeah so the car car test of the T800 I will try and get that done as soon as it is practical to do I mean I could have done it this week but unfortunately one of the people I would have liked to have asked about that um, they were obviously doing other things and uh, someone else um, uh, that I would have liked to have asked him uh, they um, uh, uh, disappeared from work before I could speak to them about it so because there's a, a few people I'd like to ask so you know anyway so I hope you found this one entertaining and enjoyable and maybe give you an idea of what a uh, comparison between free radios out of the the same uh, factory, we shall say. So, we've got the Thunderbolt T800, which is the subject radio for this video. The, the T3000, which is a very lovely slimline DIN mount radio. And is my everyday go-to mobile radio. And that PNI Escort HP7120, which is one of the slimmest radios you can buy. So, they've all got like first looks and unboxing videos on them, so just search my channel for those. So uh, you can catch me on the GB3IR repeater sometimes, um, you can catch me on the GB3HG repeater sometimes, GB3IR is on IRLP and Echo Link, so yeah, so you can dial dial in from another repeater, or even your computer if you've got Echo Link on it, or your phone if you've got Echo Link on that, or a network radio if you've got Echo Link on that. So, you can get into those. Uh, I sometimes monitor the, the Hubnet, uh, which I am doing at the time of filming. Uh, I monitor CB channel 19 when I'm mobile most of the time. Um, I really don't know why, but because all I'm hearing on there is the Bird Brigade. Um, but I do monitor it, so you can shout me on that if you're close by or there's a bit of a lift on. And uh, network radios, channel 00, some of the time, not all of the time. And um, yeah, I think that covers all the, the, the things I actually listen to. So, yeah. So, this is Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform. Or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 metres in PMR 446. Or if you want to use handles on the CB, you can call me the Red Squirrel if you like. So, 73s for now, guys. Stay safe. Obviously, the virus is still out there. So... Oh, we've got something on the one nine. So, yep, yeah, just keep yourselves safe, guys, and I'll I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. Send your from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November, Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 metres and PMR 446.